In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to back up your Samsung phone to your Samsung Cloud account, as well as restore the cloud back to your phone. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. And today we're gonna to talk all about Samsung Cloud. Now, first I wanna mention, Samsung Cloud is only available in certain countries as well as certain carriers. I know here in the US, Verizon does not currently support Samsung Cloud. Now let's talk about a few reasons why you might want to have Samsung Cloud. So Samsung Cloud allows you to back up your phone anytime that the phone is charged above 10% and it's connected to Wi-Fi. So that means that every time you take pictures, you go home, it can automatically back up that information. Say one day you lose your phone or it's completely destroyed, that information will all be stored on your Samsung account. So today we're gonna to show you how to back up everything so that it's readily available. Now Samsung Cloud is a great way to also back up your phone and then restore it when you get a new phone. It does need data and a Wi-Fi connection to do that. So I do recommend if you are looking for a solution like that to check out my playlist on the pop-up where you can actually use Smart Switch to completely back up your phone instantly, use Wi-Fi or with a wired connection from your old phone, whether it's Samsung or iPhone, to your new Samsung phone, where this tutorial is just gonna show you how to use Samsung Cloud. So let's get into it. The first thing is we're gonna cover how to back up all of these applications. So your phone, contacts, internet, messages, Samsung Notes, S Note, Gallery, Clock, My Files, Voice Recorder, and any music files that you have downloaded to the phone. If you have music that you've purchased through Play Music, that's already going to be stored in your Google account. So to get this set up, you just need to head into the settings of your Samsung device and then go down here to Cloud and Accounts. When you open up Cloud and Accounts, you'll see a few different options, but we are interested in the Samsung Cloud portion at the top. So with Samsung Cloud, you actually get 15 gigabytes of free storage. Now that will back up your pictures and everything. Now if you run out of space, you'll see this little pop-up that says you don't have enough space. You can click Manage Cloud Storage, and then it will give you a list of where all the cloud storage is being used up. And here at the bottom, you can actually change your storage plan. So when I go in here right now, I'm on the free 15 gigabyte option. I can select 50 gigabyte for $1 a month, or I can select 200 gigabyte for $2.99 per month. And uh, you can select those easily, and then it will use your Samsung account and you can pay for that. So in Samsung Cloud, there are two different things that you can do. One is called Data Sync, and one is called Backup. Backup will back up your things that you're using, like your text messages and all kinds of information, where Data Sync will allow you to instantly sync information from your phone to the cloud. So let's say I have two phones that I'm using consistently. With this sync option, whenever those are synced, it is actually going to sync over here if I'm signed into the Samsung account and if I have those options checked. So if you're looking to do that, that's a pretty cool feature. But let's start here and go into backup settings. So this is all the information that it is going to back up consistently. So here at the top, we see that it has phone, clock, your home screen, meaning where the applications are located. Here it's showing you that it's going to back up applications. Then here we have back up your settings. So anything that you've changed in the settings. Here your text messages will be backed up, including pictures. We have music, voice recorder, as well as documents. So right now it's scanning through the phone and seeing what it needs to back up. And I'm just going to select backup now to make sure that the most recent information has been backed up to the cloud. Now, if there's any of this information that you don't want backed up, you can easily turn it off when those options are available. And under the information settings, here are a few more things that it will back up if you wanna see the details about that. That has finished backing up, and here it's showing me the date and time that each of the different applications have been backed up. And then here it also gave me a notification that says data has been backed up. So now we're gonna go back and we're gonna look at the data sync option. So here is where it's gonna sync your information, and you can turn on and off that info. So here I have the gallery turned off, and I'm gonna turn that on right now. Sometimes I do take a lot of pictures and videos, and so it takes up more than the 15 gig. And if you are looking for an option that's completely free, make sure you use Google Photos, or if you wanna pay for another service like Dropbox, you can try that out as well. But right here, we're just gonna do that option. And then I'm going to click Settings, and then right now it is already syncing. So here in the settings, I can adjust sync using Wi-Fi only. So 
I can say only back up this information while I'm on Wi-Fi. Like gallery, you don't want it to be using your data, but maybe contacts, you want that instantly backed up. So there you would have that off and gallery you would have on. And then here you can turn on notifications to receive updates about promotions and other information. And then right here, it is showing that the gallery is syncing. Now it has synced all of this other information already. Now, a few things that you may wanna do while this is backing up your info is check some of the other specific apps that you use. So most of the apps that you use will automatically back up through your Google account or they'll back up through the account that you've created from those apps. So like all the social networks, those are all backed up. Uh, some of them like WhatsApp, you will need to go in and go into the settings and back up that information to Google Drive. But for the most part, all of those are already being backed up. If you use the secure folder, you'll need to go into the secure folder, hit the menu, go into the settings, and then here you can choose backup and restore, and there you will back it up to your Samsung account. And you can click back updated to secure folder. And then when you get the new phone, you would come in here and you click restore from the secure folder after you sign into your Samsung account. Some other things you might wanna check is Samsung Gear and Samsung Health. So you can just go into here and it will back up through your Samsung account. So you just wanna make sure that you have the most recent information by clicking settings and then going into the Samsung account and you can select sync now. Next, let's look at the calendar. So if you're using the Samsung account for your calendar, that will automatically be backed up. I typically use the Google calendar and so that information is already saved on my Google calendar. The next item you may wanna check is your game data. So if I go in here and I go into one of the games that I have, you may need to check each game individually as they are all different. So this game is most likely backed up to my Facebook account because I've signed in or my Google Play account, but you can always just go into the settings and then you can check to make sure that anything is backed up and everything saved for when you get your new phone, you can restore that information. And every app is different, so you will need to check each and every one of those. And then lastly, the most important is your contacts. So it will back up contacts that you have on your phone. I prefer to make sure they're all backed up into my Google account, but you can use the Samsung account as well to back up your contacts. So you may just wanna double check there. If you wanna go through and manually back these up, you just come into the app, click the menu, go to manage contacts, and you can click export your contacts and you can save that to your phone and then back those up to a certain location or you can actually sync contacts and that will sync to your Google account or whatever account you want it to do and then you can move contacts and you can just play with that if you're really concerned about making sure your contacts are backed up. I do have another tutorial you can check out on exactly how to do that. Now, if you only wanted to back up your gallery information, you would just need to go into the gallery app. So if I open gallery, I click the menu, click the settings here, and then here I have Samsung Cloud Account, and then here we can see that it is syncing, the sync is on, it's gonna sync only via Wi-Fi, and I could also choose certain albums that I wanna sync. So right now, it's just going to sync everything that I have on the phone, so that may take a while, but you could turn off specific albums right in there, and you can also come in here and free up local space. So if you are taking up too much space on your phone, you can have it delete versions on your phone while the rest is still synced to Samsung account. And then here you can see how much storage you're actually using up. So I'm taking up 2.38 gigabytes out of the 15 gigs so far. So after a few minutes, that has finished syncing. And here it is saying how much storage we have used up, 4.4 gig of 15 gig. And while I was waiting for it to store, one of the things I was doing was checking to see how much storage it was actually going to back up. So if you go into the phone settings, and then you go to device maintenance, and right here under storage, you can see how much storage it will back up. So under images, I have 1.37 gig, and under videos, I have 3.66 gig. So I just had to wait till it reached five gig, and I knew then it was going to finish doing the sync. So now it has completely synced all of our information. If I go back in here and go to cloud and accounts, and then I go to Samsung Cloud, right here we can see that I've used 4.49 gig of my 15 gig, 
everything is backed up and you can see that everything has been synced. Right here, it did have, it could not sync under S note. I just turned it off and turned it back on and then it started working again. So now I'm going to factory reset my phone and then restore all the information from Samsung Cloud so you guys can see exactly what comes over. Now you won't need to factory reset your phone, only do that if you really want to and if you wanna erase your phone and everything has been backed up. Is how I'm going to do that is if you go into the notification panel, you click the settings and then we're gonna go down here and go to general management and down here at the bottom, you will see reset. So here I am going to click on the factory data reset right here. I have already backed up everything. I'm sure I'm ready to do this. So here I'm just going to select reset and I will type in my Samsung account password. And now it is going to reset all that information. So there it's going to go through and perform its factory reset. And now it's rebooting back up to the main page. Now, when you do sign back into your new Samsung phone, it will ask you to sign into your Google account. I suggest you do that. It will also ask which device you want to restore from. Um, down here at the bottom, you can do the do not restore, but I do want to restore some of the applications that I was using. So I'm going to click note eight, and then it will ask if I want to restore all 146 of those apps. And then I can go through and turn off any of those apps that I do not want it to restore. I'm just going to go ahead and select restore. And then here it's asking if I wanna protect my phone, but I'm gonna say, no, thank you. I'll do that later. And we're gonna skip anyway. And then it will ask if you wanna to link to your Google Assistant account. And here it is restoring all your information. So it will start downloading your applications, contacts and everything. And then we'll go into the Samsung account in a minute and then we'll install everything from there. During the setup of the phone, it did ask me to sign into my Samsung account. So I just did that. And then here it is asking if I want to restore from Samsung Cloud. So I can click right here, or I can actually go back into the phone settings. And that's the way we're gonna do it today. Now, one quick note, when you do Samsung Cloud, it will not back up your micro SD card. You will just simply need to pull that out and put it into the new phone. Nothing on there can be backed up to Samsung Cloud. Now that we are back to the main settings of this new phone, I'm just gonna go back into the settings of the device, and then I am going to go down to clouds and accounts. Here I'm going to select Samsung Cloud, and then here I'm gonna start, and it will then verify my Samsung account. So here I'm going to tap on restore, and then it's gonna show you everything that it will actually restore to your phone. And then here it will show you what device you want to restore from. So I have other backups, but here we have the Galaxy Note 8. So here I'm gonna restore all the information I can, phone, clock, home screen, app, settings, messages, music, voice recorder, and documents. And then I'm going to select restore now. To restore your data, Samsung Cloud needs to install apps from your backup data. If you don't install these apps, then your apps and home screen won't be restored. So here I'm going to select install the app. So I don't actually need to restore from the Google at the very beginning of the setup. You can restore all your applications right through here. And if there are any duplicates, it will just override one of them. Then we can go back and check out my sync information. So here it has already synced my contacts, my calendar, and it's currently working on Samsung Notes, internet, and my gallery. While you are waiting for this to sync your information, in the notification panel, it will actually show you the progress of restoring all your information. So here it says restoring data. It's currently at 68%. And that's restoring your home screen, settings, documents, contacts, apps, clock, phone, messages, music, and calendar. Here it is syncing the apps. Some of your apps are syncing and being backed up automatically. This keeps them up to date and all of your Samsung devices. It also syncs some of my email accounts when I use the default email application. I'll just need to sign back into those with my password and I can continue to use them. So let me update you on a few things that have happened. I let it fully install all of the apps from Google Play. So it had downloaded those. I think I had 155 applications that I had downloaded, those finished. And then I went back into the settings of Samsung account and I selected restore again. And then slowly it's been pulling down information and right here 
it says it has 8% that it's done. And then here it has apps left and some settings left to download. So now on my home screen, I've seen it change a few things. It did put a background that I had a while ago. I didn't have that currently on my phone, but it did sync over a background. And then it also rearranged all of my apps. So now everything is exactly how I had it on my previous phone. I even have folders just like I had on my other device. And there you can see it may be missing a widget or two, but pretty impressed how it was able to get all of those in the right place. So now let's check out some of the data and see if that has been installed. So here we're gonna go into the phone settings and I'm gonna go into the recents tab. There I have my call history. Now I'm gonna go into the contacts and I have synced my Google account. So that's probably where all those are coming from. But text messages. So if we go into the text messages, you can see that it synced my whole history of text messages, which I'm really excited about. And then here we have Samsung Notes. So if you had anything backed up through Samsung Notes, it is going to be available right there. And I had just created that note earlier today. So everything is right there available. Then we have S note and S note will sync through Samsung account on its own. So it doesn't necessarily have to back up through Samsung cloud. And here I could say, yes, I want to use my Samsung account to sync all of that information and it will start downloading all that. So here we can go in the gallery and you'll see I have all that information and all those pictures available that I used to have. One of the things I really wanted was this drone footage that was on my device. And you can see that that is synced in the cloud and I can click play to sync it down to the phone. If I go into the settings of the gallery and select Samsung cloud, we can see that it is backed up all those pictures on the cloud. And then here we can select our clock there we have all of our alarms set up. My files, so this will have all of my downloads and everything. If I go into the internal storage and select downloads, you'll see all that information is there. So you don't transfer any of the SD card information through Samsung Cloud. You would just need to move the card over to a new device. So here we can go into the voice recorder and you can see that all my voice notes are there. And play music, it will have all of my music. And up here we even have all the different messaging apps and everything that I have. It looks like it's still downloading a few of those applications and it made a placeholder right there. And if we go back into the secure folder, so in my secure folder, I can restore that information as well. I just click the menu and then I select settings and then I go to backup and restore and then restore again. And then right here, it even says you're gonna restore from Brett's Note 8 secure folder. So that's not gonna pull down everything from your Samsung Cloud, that's just going to pull down from your secure folder. And here I've already started that process. We can see that all of our applications now installed and are available right there. I will just need to sign into any accounts that I had. And I'm pretty confident with how everything looks. This had just about every single thing that I wanted to be transferred over available to me. And I'm really impressed how I was able to pull over the entire home screen. I'll just have to go through and sign into all of my applications and that will just take a little bit more time. The Samsung Cloud actually worked really great just like the Smart Switch version. So if you don't have another phone that you're transferring to, you just wanna back this up, Samsung Cloud is definitely a great option with that 15 gigabytes of data. Maybe it's not gonna back up all the photos and videos you have, but there are plenty of other services that you can do that with, or you can actually just pay for your own. If we wanna check up the progress of the backup, we can just select the notification in the top and then here you can see that everything has been restored and right here it is still restoring applications and it currently is at 45%. And then it also needs to restore settings. So that's currently at 0%. And uh, so there we could see that it finished the applications and there it finished the settings while we were doing that. And so here it says all data restored to your phone. So I can open that up. It says that everything has been restored. If we go back here, we can see that the gallery and everything has been synced and uh, everything's back to normal. So uh, yeah, pretty impressed with how Samsung Cloud worked and everything is there. I again will just need to go and sign into all my accounts. So I hope you guys enjoy this video all about how to back up and restore your Samsung Cloud account. If you have any further questions about this process, please leave a comment below. And if you would like more videos on how to back up and transfer your data, please click the playlist on screen. If this is your first time here, I'd love to have you subscribe so that you can be notified of my new and upcoming videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.